Hello Bobcats, I'm Ailed Bacalo and welcome to The Prowl, the weekly show that takes you into the heart of West Broward, giving you a deep dive into the Bobcat community and what our students have to offer. With that being said, let's get started. everyone enjoyed their start to 2024. As January comes to an end, our SGA put on an event where every Bobcat could go and put their New Year resolution up on a wall and take inspiration from others. On the topic of SGA, our SGA is teaming up with our athletic association to put on a dance, the All Hearts Ball, just in time for Valentine's Day. The tickets were on sale this week in our Palmar and all the proceeds from this dance are going towards building our brand new athletic stadium. Moving on to sports, on Thursday night, our boys and girls varsity basketball teams played against Cypress Bay High School, giving it their all. And all our teams put up a great fight. Speaking of giving it their all, Julian Sanchez, a West Broward student, gives his all working towards his career of being a professional model. This is his story on how he wants to inspire the community around him and what he hopes to see in the modeling industry in the future. Hi, I'm Julian Sanchez and I'm a professional model. So I'm signed to Wilhelmina Models, which is like in top three in the world, top three or four. They're up there, which was so crazy to me because like I was like no one and usually like you need like a pretty good following on social media. I'm not very active on social media. What made me want to start modeling was other people kind of mentioning that it could be possible for me because it's something I never really thought for for myself. Um, if you've seen any picture of me from like elementary school or middle school, I didn't look like a model at all, um, but I went through a lot of changes my freshman year of high school, and when that specific comment kept getting made, it's the same thing with like negative comments, like someone tells you something mean enough times and you start to believe it, someone tells you something positive enough times you start to believe it too. Modeling has changed my life in a lot of ways. I think there's a lot of good things that have come from it in the sense that I've grown up a lot because there's no one to tell you what to do. I do everything on my own, everything by myself, I go everywhere by myself. So it's kind of like that mental thing, but I think as the world is progressing and what gives me hope is I know that I'm never going to get to a place where I think my look is better than someone else's. And I think that the more people who are like that in this industry, the better, because I think it's going to make it a lot more comfortable and welcoming to more people in different looks. I hope to leave behind, like, I really want people to have a better like perception of like what the human body is. Cause I I, I want to get to a point where castings are so much less limited because like you see it everywhere, like, oh like my only is so diverse now. My only accepts everyone. And that's not the truth at all. And I've seen the people who get turned away from castings and I've seen the way that they're treated and I've seen the way that I've been treated. And it's like, how is that fair? to absolutely anybody. Like why should a child grow up and not see themselves reflected in the media? So I really want to just force people to look and to not turn away from everything that's different because that's what they've done thus far. I want them to see, I want to see me on a billboard and I want to see the person who 
I walk past on the street on a billboard, like I want to see the world reflected in what's supposed to be the reflection of our world. Anna Pichardo, another West Broad student, shares her love for musical theater and how the community she has found in theater shapes her into the performer she is today. Hi, my name is Anna Pichardo. I'm a freshman in high school and I play Miss Myers in the, in the musical Freaky Friday. You won't grab On musical theater, it's pretty much a mix of singing and dancing and acting, but they all blend it into one little musical. This whole community has been so welcoming and so, like, they're all here for everybody. We have this tradition called Hype Circle that we do before the show, and honestly, I mainly join musical theater because I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to act, and all that mesh into one, it just, like, and I, I love making production that I know people are going to enjoy. I really hope that people understand how much work we put into these shows. Like, I know that the whole um, premise of drama is supposed to be weird and geeky, but we put so much effort into our shows. The, there's some of the most talented people I've ever met in my whole life that are in this show. Peter has really helped me come out of my shell. I've always been like, like very like bubbly, but when I'm around new people, I have a really hard time like getting to know them. But through theater and having to be able to like present yourself to a whole audience of people that you've never met before, it's honestly it really helps like build character, it helps build resilience, and it helps you know just overall make you a better person. This week, our cheer team hosted their season finale senior showcase where schools like FAU, Cardinal Gibbons, Coral Springs High School, and many more came to show what they've been working on all year. And that's a wrap on this week's edition of The Prowl, where we've been tracking the latest and all things West Broward. Once again, I'm Adled Bacalo. Stay curious and keep on the prowl.